Okay, this is on the core job, number 54654, installed on 67 by Brett. So we're doing a few different things here. We're installing a steam humidifier as well as a vent range and hood. And we have an extra with modifying gasoline. <clears throat> so first is install steam humidifier on furnace return airdrop. So coming inside furnace. Um, just install it here. Actually, I'd, I'd install a little bit lower and uh, steam hose to the supply. <sighs> um, electrical's already done for you right here. So the drain will just go to the floor drain. I'm going to give you a three quarter inch coupling and a 45 and just cut that out and redo the drain better without that T in there. Um, the water, so you're going to take your it off the cold water um, and I'm just going to give you a shark bite valve and run your quarter inch copper. Yeah. Okay. Um, on the scope, he has installed a humidistat on the return air, so um, I would install it there. This looks like it's just a shelf. I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, um, okay, so that's it in here. Let's go upstairs. Oops. So upstairs, I'm going to install a kitchen hood right here. They have the hood. It's in the garage. We're going to rip out this six inch flex. Right now it just goes up and over and in the eave. So we'll rip that out. The fan is only an eight inch, but they want a 10 inch vent. So we're going to put an eight to 10 reducer and then a 10 inch inline um, backdraft damper and then 10 inch pipe up through the roof to a J vent. Um, the attic access is in the garage, just right out this door. Um, so the plumber is going to install a water heater under the sink. Um, and he should be here the same day you are. Um, I was told that these valves are leaking. Where they're leaking from, I don't know, but just note that to him. And the garbage disposal. Oh, and he's going to do a garbage disposal too. Um, okay, so here's an extra is the move the gas line as needed for stove and range. So on the specs, it said this is the area so that the electrical and gas comes out. So I cut this out. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take off this 90 and reuse it. But I'll give you a three quarter inch coupling here and then a three quarter by 14. And then just reuse this 90 and the gas cock. You know what? I think I'll give you a half inch close nipple to get it closer. Well, you know what? Maybe. Nope. I'm going to give you a half inch 90 with another nipple just in case you need to turn it. Then your flex can do the loop. That's what I'll do. So. Okay, and um, I was thinking we we're gonna have to modify the gas for the double range over here. Right now, under this drawer, we have gas right in here, gas caulk. 
but it's plugged. But I opened the box to the stove and I don't see a gas hookup, so it may best just be electrical. Not quite sure. If there is anything needed for that, I told her to let you guys know and you can probably just measure what you need, but I don't think it's gas. A gas thing. That's it.